Hello yeah, team, Mr. Mallon here for some more guided reading today and today we're going to be looking at two different versions of Beauty and the Beast. So I'm going to start off by showing you the original version on a video and then after that we're going to read another version with a little bit of a twist on it. So just like yesterday we're going to have our worksheet which hopefully you've got in front of you. If you haven't you can open it up and it's got two ovals, two shapes, one for Beauty and the Beast and one for the different version of Beauty and the Beast. And just like yesterday, we're going to look at the sentences and see if they match up with the first story, the second story, or both stories. So to start off with, let's remind ourselves of the original story of Beauty and the Beast. So if you haven't seen it before, we're going to watch the video, have a look at it, have a talk about it, and then we'll move on to the second story, then we'll start our job. Enjoy the stories, and I'll see you in a bit. Once upon a time, in a peaceful village of Yorkshire, there lived a girl named Belle. She loved reading, and spent much of her time reading books. Good morning, Belle! Good morning, Uncle Bob. shocked me. That was unexpected. <laughs> Belle, Sam, will you both come here for a minute? Coming, Father. I'm going out to the port to deliver goods. Should I bring something for you? No, Pa. I don't want anything. Just a rose would do. I want a leather jacket. And off he went towards the port. Her father reached the ship of newcomers who brought in dazzling clothes, jewels, and the finest leather a man could ask for. Wow, I love these rare pieces, but I can only take as much in my small cart. Thank you. Ah, oh, all the shopping is done for my daughter and son. I should move now. It's getting late. Rothshire. Oh, that seems like an old castle. I wonder if anybody stays here. I need a place to stay for the night. Huh? <coughs> Hello? Is anyone there? <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Sit down. Eat. Um. arranged in the north wing of the castle. You may have rest there. Thank you. You are so kind. It will make me happy if you can come down and I can thank you properly. No! It's all right. You are a guest for our castle. Stay for the night. But just remember, we hate thieves. So don't take anything that doesn't belong to you. Sure. Oh, it's morning. I think I must leave and reach home before kids start to worry. What? Wow, what a magnificent garden with so many flowers of all colors. And that blue rose. I've never seen a blue rose before. Belle will love it. The owner asked me not to steal anything, but this is just a flower, I suppose. 
What oh. have you done? <laughs> you stole from me. I will have you rot in my tower for betraying my generosity. <sighs> I'm sorry. I only meant to take back a rose for my daughter. Uh, no! Please let me go! My children are waiting for me! I am sorry! Oh. You should have thought about oh. them before you stole oh. from me! Now you will be no. my prisoner! Uh. Uh. No, no, no! Uh. A week had gone by, and Belle still could not find her father. Belle, I hope we find father soon! Surely he is fine. Don't worry, we'll find him. Let's go to the port. Look, Belle! This arrow is pointing to the wrong way! Yes, it is. Let's find out what goes there. Maybe we could find Pa. Bro! That's our worst Palomino! Pa should be here. Pa! pa! Belle! Sam! I am here! Pa, are you all right? Who did this to you? Let me get you out of this cage. Belle, fetch me that axe. How dare you! Monster! my father like an animal. Your father tried to steal from me, and you tried to help him escape. No one is leaving the castle now. Can I please ask you something? <sighs> what has my father done to deserve this punishment? He betrayed my generosity. I gave him shelter in a storm, and he tried to steal my most precious thing. I didn't know the importance of it. I felt it was just a flower, and I am sorry. I am very sorry for what happened. It's my mistake. I asked him to bring a rose. I plead you. Please release him. You may keep me prisoner instead. Could she be the one I am waiting for? Is she the one to release me from my curse? A handsome guy sitting on a throne. An ugly lady is standing in front of him and request something. No way! Get away from me, you ugly witch! Ugly witch? You refuse to see my inner beauty. Now I curse you to become uglier than your imagination. You will live like this! <laughs> Please, I am sorry. I did not know who you are. Does not matter. People will never know who you really are too. Until... There is someone who loves you despite of your looks. I would rather die than living like this. Fine. You must realize how life is without beauty. And if you wish to die, just eat this rose. In fact, you can give someone else your remaining life if you just think about that person. Actually, I can agree to something like that. If you are ready to take their place, they can leave. It's all right. You must go. I will be fine here. It's better if I stay here rather than you two. Belle, how would you be all right? I love you more than my life and have taken care of you after your mother left us. Now it's my chance to repay for your love. You must go and take care of you and Sam. I take full responsibility for this. I will not lock her. She will be a free person to move around in my castle. Thank you. I'll be fine, Pa. You may go. I am sorry, Belle. Please take care of yourself. <laughs> the beast kept the promise and kept Belle like a family. Belle. 
She read all the books from the castle's library, but they hardly spoke. Adam, it's all right. I have consciously chosen this path. You have lived lonely all your life. Now at least we can speak with each other. Um, I feel like I have taken your freedom and family. But still, you never see towards me as a monster. I believe in fate. Things happen sometime for a reason. Come, it's snowing. Let's go out for a walk. I know you are missing your family. I don't know if I will see them ever. I do miss them. <laughs> Belle, what happened? Why are you sad? Belle, father is seriously sick. He is on bed since we left you. He won't eat or drink. I'm confused and don't know what to do. I thought I'd write to you, love. Sam! Bell, I grant you a week. You go and revive your dad, but don't forget to return before the week's end. Dad, I am here now, and you will be fine in no time. Pa, I have to go now. The week is about to end and Beast must be waiting for me. Belle, you may go, but I surely can't live without you. You are back! I am so happy to see you! I missed you like anything the whole week! Bell dear, what happened? The doctor told me that father is going to die in a few days. <laughs> oh, I think I can help. Just wait here. This is not an ordinary flower. It will give life to one, but take away from another. Just eat the petals and think of the person you want to save. It will save his life and take yours. Now go. You will be fine, Pa. Nothing will happen to you. You have become fine, but I was supposed to die. How did it go wrong? The rose was broken before I ate. No! <laughs> I know you did it. You ate the part of the flower and saved my life. You gave your own life for mine. I love you. The curse has been broken. I am back to my real self. I know you truly love me, and I love you too, Belle. Okay, so that was the original story. Now we're going to have a look at the new version of it, which is called No Lie, I Acted Like a Beast. The story of Beauty and the Beast as told by the Beast. Okay, let's take a look. Let's see what this story is like and see what's the same and what's different. Rawr, arr, grr. Yep, I still got it. I might not look like a beast anymore, but I can still act the part. 
Notice that I use the word act. Acting changed my life. It got me into trouble. It got me out of trouble. It even got me to go on my dreams. I'm assuming he's American. It sounds like he is. Hmm, that doesn't look like the beast. My name is Prince Elmer. If you believe the lies, I was once a spoiled brat who refused to help a poor old woman. But here's the real story. As a young prince, I was shy. So shy that I wouldn't even answer the phone. And if a pretty girl came round, forget it. Wow, I didn't realise that the prince was so shy. He didn't seem too shy in the original story. So that's something that's different. One day I read a notice in the newspaper. Theatre auditions for the free Billy Goats Gruff. I decided then and there that I was done being shy. I was going to find my voice as an actor. I barked and hissed. I growled as I brushed my teeth. I slashed at the air with my fork. Wow, he's really, he's really getting into the part of a troll, isn't he? Sounds like he's taking it a bit too seriously. I hope he doesn't forget that he's a prince. On audition night, my head was so full of troll thoughts that at first I didn't notice the tug on my sleeve. It was a poor old woman asking for food. No, I roared. I won't help you. Go away. Then I remembered that I wasn't actually a troll. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was just... But it was too late. Before my eyes, the old woman became an evil fairy. Fool, she cried. You act like a beast. You shall be a beast. But you don't understand. There is only one way to break this spell, the evil fairy said. A woman must fall in love with you in spite of your looks, she smirked. And that's not, go that's not going to happen. Oh dear, so he wasn't actually being mean, he was just in the part of a troll, he was just pretending to be the troll, but forgot he was talking to a poor old woman, who actually happened to be a fairy. Oh, it sounds like it's just been a horrible misunderstanding. Poor Prince Elmer. It's certainly a lot different from the original story. I must have fainted, because I can next thing I knew I was in a strange castle in the woods, alone. That was the worst time of my life. I was hideous. Oh, sure, I had all sorts of fine things, but I had no one to talk to. To pass the time, I kept up my acting studies. In the garden, I put on one-man shows for the birds and the butterflies. This version of Beast is very kind. He seems a lot kinder than the one in the original story. I don't remember the original Beast talking to birds and butterflies and putting on shows. What do you think? Do you think Beast is very different from the original story? Then came the stormy night that changed everything. A lost traveller took shelter in my castle. I remained hidden, but I made sure he had everything he needed. It felt awfully nice to have company. The next morning, as he was leaving, he took a rose from my garden. That gave me an idea. Maybe I could trick him into coming back. I'm not proud of what I did next, but it worked. Is that how you reward my kindness? I roared. You will pay with your life. Hmm, I wonder why he said that. It doesn't sound like he actually wants to hurt the poor man. Sounds like he just wants some company. He doesn't want him to leave. I'm actually starting to feel a bit sorry for Beast now. The man begged to say goodbye to his family. He promised to return. And he did, with his daughter named Beauty. Beauty had vowed to take her father's place. She felt responsible because she was the one who'd asked for the rose. For me, it was love at first sight. For her, not so much. I had fur growing out of my nostrils, and I smelled like a barn. God, poor Beast, he's been really hard on himself, isn't he? So it sounds like he's just really lonely. I wonder how Beauty's going to react to him in this story. Because at first she was quite scared of him in the original story. Do you notice any other differences as well? I went back to my shy ways, hiding behind and ducking into closets. A few days passed. Beauty figured out that I was more of a teddy bear than a beast. Imagine my delight when she started talking to me. 
We had a lot in common, including a love of good theatre. I didn't have to do one-man shows anymore. I had a co-star. The more Beauty and I acted together, the more she got to know the real me. This is definitely a lot different from the original story. In some ways it's the same because Beauty and the Beast are getting to know each other, but it's happened a lot differently in this story. One day Beauty asked to leave the castle. She wanted to visit her family. Okay, but you better come back. I'll die without you, I joked. And then my voice became serious. Really, if you leave me, I'll die. Yes, it was a bit over the top. But what can I say? I'm an actor. And with that, she left. Hmm, yeah, because otherwise, I think in the story, in the original story, Beast couldn't let Beauty go. I wonder what's going to happen next. When Beauty returned, she found me lying on the ground next to the rose bush. I tried not to breathe. Beast? Beauty cried out. Oh, no. Her tears poured into my fur, but I didn't move. Oh, Beast, you're the ugliest creature I've ever seen, but I can't help it. I love you. I do. Oh, no, I hope Beast comes back. Oh, phew. And just like that, the spell was broken. I got my happily ever after. I was a prince again. I married Beauty, and together we've opened the Prince Elmer School of Beastly Good Acting. You should take a class. It might change your life. I think I might need to take a class from Prince Elmer's acting class. I think I need to learn to do an American accent. Wow, that was certainly a lot different from the original story. What did you think about Beast? How was he different? He was certainly he certainly seemed to be a lot kinder in this version of the story. And he seemed a lot more friendly in this story as well. Beast seemed quite stern and quite scary, but in this story he was quite friendly. How about Beauty? What was she like? I think she was the same really. She was kind and caring all the way through. So actually she was quite similar in both stories. Let's take a look at the worksheet then. So we've got Beauty and the Beast and No Light Acted Like a Beast, which was a story we just read. Okay, so I'll read out the sentences. You guys have a go at sorting them into which story they match up with. The first story, the second story, or if they match up with both, pop them in the middle. The prince was kind and shy. The prince was cruel and mean. The prince was turned into a beast. The beast likes other people. The beast doesn't like other people. And the prince married Beauty. So have a go at matching those into the shapes. Pause the video. Once you've done that, hit play when you're ready. Okay, so hopefully you've had a go at sorting them. So what we'll do, we'll go through it together and we'll see if we've got the same. Okay, so the first one says, the prince was kind and shy. Hmm. I'm thinking back to the first story. He wasn't very kind and shy in the first story because he kidnapped Beauty's dad and he wasn't very nice to him. He did do that in this story, but he wasn't as nasty in this story. And actually, he was very kind. Okay, let's have a look at that sentence again. The prince was kind and shy. He definitely wasn't shy in the first story. But he was in the second story, so I'm going to pop it in there. The next one. The prince was cruel and mean. I think the, the prince in the second story definitely wasn't cruel and mean. He was actually quite kind, really. He was only pretending to be cruel and mean. But I think after any original story, he seemed a bit more mean and a bit more cruel by putting that man in the cage. That wasn't very kind. That was quite cruel. And he was very kind. And the beast in this story was very kind to Beauty. In the original story, he wasn't that kind to her at first. Yeah, this version of Beast is a lot kinder and a lot more friendly. He even performed shows with Beauty. Yeah, the prince was cruel and mean. I think for the first story, but not the second one. The prince was turned into a beast. Oh, this one's quite an easy one, isn't it? Should we go back and look at the second story just to be on the safe side, just to find our evidence? 
Where does the bee? Where does the prince get turned into a beast? Let's have a look. So there's the prince, and he gets turned. Yeah, there he does. He get he gets turned into a beast, and he gets turned into a beast in the first story as well, doesn't he? So actually, he gets turned into a beast in both stories. So I'm going to pop that one in the middle. The beast likes other people. Well, he certainly didn't like other people in the first story. He didn't even. He was quite. He was quite unfriendly in the first story. But in the second story, he liked being an actor and putting on shows. So actually, I think he did like other people. And he got really lonely as well, didn't he? Because he wanted to keep Beauty's dad in the castle for some company. So actually, I don't think the Beast in the original story liked other people, but he did in the second story. The beast doesn't like other people. Wow, that's quite easy, isn't it? Well, if a second beast, the other version of beast, likes other people, then the original version doesn't like other people. So I think we can pop that one into the shape for the first story. The prince married Beauty. Well, he definitely married her at the end of the original story. Did he marry at the end of this version of the story as well? Let's have a look. Oh, as a prince again, I married Beauty. Yeah, he did marry her. So he married her in both stories. So I'm going to pop that in the middle. Well done today, you two. Well, I enjoyed that story. I think that's probably my favourite one yet. How about you? Which is your favourite so far? Well done today, you two. And I'll talk to you again very, very soon. And tomorrow we'll have a look at another version of Goldilocks. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.